Hey home chefs. Wow, this is so delicious. This sous vide prime rib steak recipe is one of my favorite sous vide holiday dishes, but we'll also make it for a date night or if we just want some really delicious steak. Prime rib sous vide style is super juicy. I can't wait to show you how to make this. Let's head to the kitchen. I have so many new easy recipes coming your way that you're just gonna love. Make sure to subscribe to the Sip Bite Go channel on YouTube to be the first to know when new recipe videos come out. Subscribe today. The first thing that you do is you season the prime rib for sous vide cooking. Here I'm using a two and a half pound prime rib steak and I set the sous vide machine to 132 degrees. While the sous vide bath preheats, I season the steak with salt and then some fresh thyme. I absolutely love my indoor herb garden. I can have fresh herbs year round. I usually vacuum seal all of my sous vide cooks because it helps the food to stay flat in the bag, but something like a large sous vide prime rib steak is only one large piece of meat, so you can put it in a Ziploc bag too. In case you haven't noticed from all my sous vide cooking recipes at sipbiteco.com and on the YouTube channel here at Sip Bite Go, um, I'm pretty obsessed with vacuum sealing my food. I think it really helps, especially if you have a couple different pieces of your ingredient in the bag. But here I'm only sous vide one large giant sous vide prime rib, so you don't have to worry about the food moving around in the bag if you were to put it in a Ziploc bag. But I do really love vacuum sealing food. I think it looks absolutely beautiful this way. I could photograph vacuum sealed food all day. You can check out the partnership I did with Food Saver in other videos I have on the Sip Bite Go YouTube channel. So because this is a two and a half pound sous vide prime rib steak, it only needed to cook for six hours. That was really the perfect time and I cooked it at the temperature of 132 degrees. If you have a larger sous vide prime rib steak, like a six pound or seven pounder, that's going to feed quite a lot of people and you wanna cook that for eight to 10 hours. One tip I have is to cover the sous vide container to prevent heat from escaping for this really long cook and place a cutting board or another barrier under the water container to protect your natural countertops from the heat of the water. You don't want them to crack. When the sous vide steak is done cooking, you are almost on your way to a delicious meal. When done, remove sous vide primer roast from the water bath and it will look a little funny on the outside. You have to pat it dry to get all that moisture out of the outside. That happened when you were sous vide cooking. And because it gets finished with a really high heat in a cast iron skillet, you don't have to worry. It will look beautiful and photo worthy for you once you're done cooking. So you can also shock the steak in ice water to stop the cooking process and then move the prime rib steak from the bag to some paper towel. There you can pat it dry and you can get rid of the time and then you are ready to heat up a cast iron skillet on the stove. To finish sous vide prime rib steak in a cast iron skillet, you just need to heat a large cast iron skillet to medium high and add olive oil. When the oil is hot and shiny, add the sous vide cooked prime rib to the pan. Sear the sous vide prime rib quickly until a brown crust appears on each side. The nice part of working with such a large piece of meat is that you don't have to worry about the internal temperature rising too much. But anyways, you go ahead and you sear each side of the sous vide prime rib and definitely use some tongs to sear the edges of the steak as well. You want each surface of that nice and crusty. <laughs> Transfer the sous vide prime rib to a cutting board and let it cool for 15 minutes before serving. This is a delicious meal. I can't wait for you to try it. There are so many delicious steak sauces that you could make for this sous vide prime rib. Make sure to check out sipbiteco.com. I really love some lately like a peppercorn sauce I have, a chimichurri sauce. I'm doing some recipe testing with my husband to come out with a particular recipe for that one. And there are some delicious mustard based barbecue sauces that you could find on my site. Well, believe it or not, two and a half pounds of steak is quite a lot for two people. So we had leftovers le the next night. Uh, one of my other favorite things to do outside of sous vide cooking is to make some homemade pizza. And here I made some homemade pizza that was super simple. I just used some seriously jarred pizza sauce. I sprinkled some Italian seasoning on the sauce. Then I added some cheese and shaved steak from the night before. So here is prime rib pizza prime rib 
cheesy pizza. I don't know what to call it, but it was really delicious. And I even made a little slice, as you can see, for my little toddler. He loved it, too. Want more delicious recipes? Don't forget to grab a free copy of my sous vide beginner's recipe book. If you think sous vide steak is delicious, wait till you try sous vide lobster wings, corn, and more. It's like a mini preview of my popular print book, <laughs> The Home Chef Sous Vide Cookbook, which has 100 more recipes for serious, serious, serious sous vide enthusiasts. You can pick up the Home Chef Sous Vide Cookbook at Amazon, or you can check out the Sous Vide Beginner's Guide at freesousvidebook.com. Have you tried sous vide short ribs? I love to make sous vide beef short ribs because they are falling apart completely tender and the taste is incredibly rich. It's unlike any other method of cooking because sous vide short ribs cook for 24 hours at a really high temperature when it comes to sous vide cooking. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sip Bite Go channel on YouTube and visit Sip Bite Go to get step-by-step -step recipes for all my favorite sous vide cooks. You'll learn how to make sous vide short ribs and so many other recipes. I have so many things that are super tasty coming your way. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, I hope that you're thoroughly inspired to go ahead and make some sous vide prime rib steak. It's truly a delicious meal and one to share with many, many people. Well, until next time, I hope that you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers!